CD1 Unit 1 Listening Skills Exercise 3 A The cheapest model we have is the XB503. It's very good value and has a number of special features, including a free case and six months guarantee. Did you say XB505? I can't see that in the catalogue. No, it's the XB503. It's on page 14. Oh, yes, I see it. Hmm, that looks interesting. What other colours does it come in? Uh, let's see. This model is available in standard black, as you can see, and also white and dark blue. Oh, I see that the white model is out of stock at present. I like the sound of the blue one. How much is it? The price we are currently offering is only available until Sunday, and it includes next day delivery. That's $349.99 altogether. That's £50 off the previous price. Great. I'll take it. OK. So, can I take your name? B. So, you. The result of your entrance test is 45. That puts you in our intermediate class. Oh, in my old school, I was in the highest level. I'm sure you'll find it's the correct level for you. See how it goes in the first few days, and if there's a problem, you can talk to your teacher. Her name's Jenny. You'll meet her tomorrow. Jenny? Can you spell that? Yes, it's J-E-N-N-I-E. J-E-N-I-E. -E. Uh, no, it's two N's. Oh, N-N-I-E. Thank you. And you'll be in classroom number 12. I'll show you where that is later. So, you've decided to do four mornings and two afternoons a week, is that right? Yes, to start with. I hope to increase my hours later. Would that be okay? I'd like to study full-time, if possible. Yes, that's fine. Our full-time programme is 20 hours a week, but I'll put you down for 16 hours for now. So, how much will I have to pay? The full-time fees are £165 a week, so for 16 hours it'll be... Let's see, uh, 132 pounds. So when shall I pay? Well, you can bring... C. The grey seal is a large mammal found in the North Atlantic, on both sides of the ocean. So there are populations both around the British Isles and on the coast of Canada and the northern United States. They can be seen swimming out in open sea, or basking on rocks, and occasionally they're spotted on sandy beaches. As already mentioned, they are one of the larger mammals, with the males, or bulls, weighing up to 300 kilograms and over 3 meters in length. The females are usually much smaller, but even they can weigh between 100 and 200 kilograms. The seals feed on a variety of fish, including sand eels, cod, and herring, which they hunt using their highly sensitive ears and their ability to stay underwater for up to 15 minutes. Gray seals breed between September and December and produce one offspring a year, known as a pup. The young animal is born with white fur and feeds on its mother's rich milk until it is old enough to hunt. Of course, the gray seal has been hunted itself, primarily for its skin, but also for its blubber or fat and its meat. At one time, there were three... D. I'm not available to take your call at present. Please leave a message after the tone. Oh, hello. Uh, this is a message for Helen Black. It's about your advert in the local paper for the bike. I'm very interested in it, but I have a few questions, so perhaps you could call me back. My name's James Fisher, and my number is 07860-643-654. I'll be available most of the day on that number, but I have a meeting later this afternoon um, at 4 o'clock, so if you could call before then, that would be great. Thanks. Unit 1. Speaking Skills. Exercise 1. A. I came by bus. In fact, I had to take two different buses because my home is on the other side of the city and the whole journey took about 45 minutes. 
I like traveling by bus, but I don't do it very often, as I usually walk or cycle to school, which is really near my home. I only use it if I want to go on a longer journey, like into the city center. Today, I had quite a long distance to travel, and that's why I came by bus. B. What I like most is the fact that it's near the coast, because I love the sea. I always try to go there at weekends. I also think it has good facilities. There's plenty to do, particularly for young people, as there's a leisure center and swimming pool, two cinemas and a large shopping center. One thing I don't like is that we don't have many parks or green spaces, so there aren't many nice places to walk or play. C. I live in a flat. Most people in my city live in flats rather than houses. It's on the third floor of a small block, which is right next to the river. It's not a very big flat, but I really like it, mainly because it's in a good neighborhood. Most of our neighbors have lived there for many years, as it's a very popular area to live. D. It depends on the situation. I love going out for a meal in a restaurant for a special occasion. For instance, last week I had a fantastic meal in an Italian restaurant to celebrate my friend's birthday. Still, I think overall I prefer eating at home as my mother is an excellent cook and I really enjoy having a meal with my whole family when everyone is relaxed and happy. E. Well, I started learning it at primary school when I was about six, so I suppose you could say I've been learning it for most of my life. But I have only been studying seriously for the last two years because at my school we didn't learn much. Actually, I knew a lot of grammar, but when I went to Australia two years ago, I realized I couldn't understand anything. That's why I decided I wanted to learn English properly, and I have been having lessons ever since then. F. Not really. I used to play basketball and a little bit of tennis at school, but I'm not very interested in playing sports. I occasionally go to the gym or go running because I like to keep fit, but I don't like team sports as I'm not very good at them. I sometimes watch sports on TV with my brother, who plays basketball for a local team. I often watch him play in competitions. That's why I know so much about basketball. Unit 1. Pronunciation. Exercise 3. A. I'd like to get a place of my own as soon as I can. B. I hope I can take early retirement before I'm 60. C. I'd like to start a family when I'm about 30 years old. D. Next year I'm planning to take a sabbatical so that I can travel to South America. E. I've always wanted to get a degree in electronic engineering. F. I can't afford to take a gap year unless I can get a job and save up. Unit 1. Exam listening. Section 1. You will hear a telephone conversation between a student and an assistant in a job agency. You will see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good afternoon, Wright's Employment Agency. How can I help you? Oh, hello. I'm calling to register with the agency. I'm looking for work. Have you registered with us before? No, this is my first time. OK, so shall we start by taking down some details? Can I have your name, please? Yes, it's Helen Shepherd. That's S-H-E-P-A-R-D. S-H-E-P-E-R-D. No, A-R-D. Oh, sorry. OK, I've got that. 
the student gives her name and spells it out, so shepherd has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Good afternoon, Rights Employment Agency. How can I help you? Oh, hello. I'm calling to register with the agency. I'm looking for work. Have you registered with us before? No, this is my first time. Okay, so shall we start by taking down some details? Can I have your name, please? Yes, it's Helen Shepherd. That's S H E P A R D. S H E P E R D. No, A R D. Oh, sorry. Okay, I've got that. And your address? Eighteen Henley Street. Is that in Milltown? Yes. The postcode is M T four seven H V. Seven H B. No V. Okay, I've got that. And I need a contact number. My mobile is o seven nine four five seven six six seven four. That's the best number to contact me on. So, are you interested in full or part-time work? Well, I will be looking for a part-time job in a couple of months when I start university. But at the moment, I'm looking for full-time work. I left school last year and took a gap year before going to university. I'd like to work for the next two months and save some money before I go. What did you do in your gap year? I did some voluntary work for six months, and then for the last three months, I've been travelling in Southeast Asia and Australia.、Mm, that sounds exciting. Yes, it was fantastic. So I need to take down details of any work experience. You say you did some voluntary work. What did that involve? I worked at a residential school for disabled children. I really enjoyed it. The children and the rest of the staff were fantastic. My degree course is in health and social care, so it really gave me good experience for that. Yes, of course. Have you any other experience? Well,、uh, I did a bit of waitressing work when I was at school, and I spent a summer working in the King's Hotel on West Street two years ago. What were you doing there? Waitressing? No, I was a chambermaid. You know,、uh, cleaning the bedrooms. Oh yes, I did a bit of that when I was a student. Okay, that all seems fine.、Uh, you've got some experience, which is good. Just a couple more questions.、Uh, do you drive? Yes, I took my test last year, but I don't have access to a car, so I do rely on public transport. That shouldn't be a problem. I'll just make a note of it here. No car, and、uh, I need to know exactly when you're available and whether you'd be able to do shift work. You know, early mornings, late nights. I don't have a problem with early morning shifts. I'd prefer not to do night shifts, though. And when would you be able to start? Immediately, if necessary. <laughs> the sooner, the better. Unit one, exam listening. Now answer questions six to ten. I'll just check our database to see if we have anything suitable. Let's see.、Um, we have some hotel work here, the Highlands. Do you know it? Is it the one near the Priors Shopping Centre? No, it's just off the Ring Road on the other side of town, near the Leisure Centre. Hmm, that's quite a distance for me. Is it cleaning work? Well, I think it's a bit of everything: some cleaning, some waitressing, and kitchen work. It would be shift work, but nothing later than ten. The hourly rate is six pounds seventy-five with meals provided. That sounds reasonable, but I'd prefer something a little closer to home if possible, as that's a long journey for me. Well, we also have two positions as carers. The first one is in a residential home for the elderly. It's on Hamilton Terrace, the Cedars Care Home. Oh yes, I know where that is. It's only ten minutes' walk from my house.、Well, that's convenient then.、Uh, they want someone with experience.、Um, I'm not sure if your experience with children would count. I could give the manager a ring and find out. Do you know what the hours are? Yes, it says here five shifts a week from seven a.m. to three p.m., including some weekends.、Um, there may also be some evening shifts available. 
The pay is not as good as the hotel job, only £6.10 an hour. And the other one? The other one is an interesting one. It's caring for a disabled lady in her own home in Poplar Street, helping her wash and dress and doing housework and shopping for her, that sort of thing. It's not full-time work, though, just two to three hours every morning. The pay is good, £6.80 an hour, and transport is provided. I do like the sound of that, but I really need more hours. I think the care home sounds the most suitable. We can arrange an interview for you if you like. I'll ring the manager now and find out when he can see you. Are you available this afternoon? Yes, I'm free all day. Unit 2. Listening skills. Exercise 4. A. So, we're standing at the main entrance, so you just need to go straight down through the seating area. You'll go through some double doors into the study area, and then it's first on the right. B. As you leave this office, go back through reception, and you'll see the seating area to your right. You need to head across the seating area, and it's the last door on your left before you get to the double doors. C. It's at the other end of the department. Go out of the lecture theatre and back through the double doors. You'll see a seating area, and in front of you is the main entrance to the department. It's in the corner directly to the left of the entrance. Unit 2. Listening skills. Exercise 8. Now, as you can see, we've put together a plan showing the school site with all the proposed changes marked. This will be distributed to all parents, teachers and residents in the surrounding streets. That is Waverley Road, Wood Lane and Lower Road. So, I'll uh, just summarise the main changes we've proposed. Firstly, we plan to enlarge the school car park. As you know, parking is a problem, and we would like to be able to accommodate all the staff cars, as well as provide a small visitor's parking area. That would be at the lower road end of the current car park. We believe this measure is long overdue and will stop visitors from parking on pavements and obstructing entrances. We also plan to install a pedestrian crossing near the side entrance in Waverley Road. The Wood Lane crossing, which was installed three years ago, has proved very popular. And I'm sure you'll agree that those children and parents using the side entrance need to be kept just as safe as those using our main entrance. Over the years, traffic on both roads has increased substantially, and that's why we also plan to introduce traffic calming measures in Wood Lane which probably suffers the most. This, we hope, will keep the speed down to 20 miles per hour. New traffic signs will also be installed at the corners of both roads, warning drivers that children are crossing ahead. As some of you might already know, it has recently been decided that the land opposite the school, on the other side of Waverley Road, is going to be developed into flats and offices. Although I know there was some opposition to this plan, we at the school welcome the council's decision to develop this derelict land, but we need to be prepared for many months of construction work next to the school. We've therefore decided that within the next three months we're going to erect a new fence. This will run parallel to Waverley Road and we hope will screen the playground from the construction site and provide better privacy and security for the children when they're playing. Our final proposal is nothing to do with security, but we hope it will bring pleasure to many people. Our plan is to establish a garden next to the playground on the Wood Lane side, and Mrs Holmes has very kindly offered to supervise the project. We hope to get all the children involved in some way, and we would welcome any volunteers among staff or parents to help with any heavy digging. If you have any comments on the plans, or if you would like to find out any more, please come and speak to me or one of my colleagues. We would welcome your feedback and uh, hope to be... Unit 2. Speaking Skills. Exercise 2. The thing that I particularly enjoyed was the violin concerto. 
It's one of my favorite orchestral pieces anyway, but the soloist was very good. She really managed to capture the mood of the piece. The reason why I go to events like this is because I like to see local talent, and these performers were all excellent. What they showed me was how good amateur musicians can be. Something else that really impressed me was the age of the musicians. They were all so young. Some of them were only in their late teens and they were playing like professionals. What I didn't like was the venue. It was very small and it was difficult for the audience to see the stage. At least the acoustics were good, so we could hear all right. Unit 2. Speaking Skills. Exercise 5. A. What made this show special was the small, intimate venue. B. The thing that really impressed me was the artist's talent. C. The reason I absolutely love her designs is because they are so modern and fresh. D. Something I particularly remember is the incredible costumes and scenery. E. Something I'm not very keen on is this type of modern art. F. The thing that makes this film worth seeing is the fascinating story. G. The reason why I didn't like the book was because the story was so complicated. H. What the film made me realise was what difficult lives some people lead. Unit 2. Pronunciation. Exercise 1. A. Something I really didn't like was the noise. B. The thing I remember most is the beautiful choral piece. C. What made the concert special was the fantastic choir. D. What I absolutely loved about the play were the wonderful costumes. E. The thing I particularly liked were the stunning visual effects. F. The thing that really impressed me was the amazing script. Unit 2. Pronunciation. Exercise 4. A. I'm a big fan of contemporary art. B. Orchestral music doesn't appeal to me at all. C. I really can't see the attraction of the latest fashion trend. D. I'm quite passionate about traditional dancing. E. I'm not too keen on folk music, but I love this song. F. I absolutely love classic literature, but I'm not too keen on this particular writer. Unit 2. Exam Listening. Section 2. You will hear someone giving a welcome speech at the opening of a new arts centre. Listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 15. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the new Midlands Arts Centre. We are delighted that so many of you have managed to brave the rain and come out tonight to help us celebrate the opening of this new facility. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the complex itself and show you what is on offer here. But first, a little background. It was well over 15 years ago now that the idea was born to create a centre of drama, music and art that would attract visitors from the local area and beyond. Our aim was to provide a place of entertainment for the whole family, which would also offer education and training opportunities to performers and artists from around the world as well as the local community. With the help of local businesses, we aim to offer annual grants to up-and-coming artists who might otherwise be unable to fulfil their dreams. As you will see when you look around, 
we already have an exhibition of two young local artists. You will find that in exhibition room B. I must admit I've never been a big fan of abstract art, but I was blown away by the exhibits on display by these talented youngsters. Exhibition room A houses our other temporary display. This one includes sculpture made from recycled objects and a collection of film posters from the 1970s and 80s. A must for any film buffs out there. The Reese Gallery houses our permanent exhibits, which include a collection of historical photographs of the local area and work by local artists Gemma Brock and Giles Priestman. There will be guided tours every 15 minutes throughout the evening. For any budding young artists here this evening, we have a drawing workshop starting in five minutes with celebrated local cartoonist Andy Minot. Andy will be sharing some techniques for creating caricatures and showing some of his most famous works. You will find Andy at the back of the Rees Gallery and all under 16s are welcome. There are many other events taking place this evening, but I haven't got time to go through all of them. Your programme will give you details. I've just picked out a few of the highlights. Later in the evening, there will be a performance from the Midlands Youth Band and Dale Park Youth Choir. This is the first time they have performed together, and I can guarantee that it is not to be missed. They are performing tonight in the Gilbert Theatre at 7pm, but don't worry if you miss that one. They will be on again at 8.45pm, this time in the studio. Be sure to get there in good time. Another important event tonight is a talk by local writer James Carver. He'll be discussing his series of historical crime novels and reading from his latest book, The Secret Stone. He will also be signing copies of his books. I know he has a lot of fans out there, so make sure you go along. The event starts in the studio at 7.30pm. Finally, the big event of the evening will be a performance by the award-winning Simon Bradford and his Jazz and Blues Band. Simon has recently completed a sell-out tour of Europe and has just released a new album. And we are delighted he has travelled all the way from his home in Canada for tonight's performance. His show and album have received fantastic reviews and I really can't wait for this. Be sure to be seated in the Moffat Hall in good time for the show. It starts at 9pm and will be the final event of the evening. Unit 2. Exam listening. Now answer questions 16 to 20. Now. You should all have a programme with a plan of the complex. Please do have a good look around while you're here and make the most of the facilities. So, we're standing just by the main entrance and you can see the Moffat Hall at the back of the complex on my right. This is the main feature of the complex and seats almost 2,000. We hope this will become a world-class concert venue and one glance at the forthcoming events gives a good indication of what we can look forward to in the coming months. By the way, if you wish to book for any forthcoming events, the box office, which is over here on my left, will be open all evening. There are two places to get refreshments. For light meals and snacks, you can try the Stage Door Cafe. You'll see that straight in front of us. It is open all day from 10am and serves snacks until 9pm. For something more substantial, you can try our Italian restaurant, which serves freshly prepared pizza, pasta and other classic Italian dishes. You'll find it on the left there, next to the box office, and it's open from midday until 11pm. I ate there earlier, and the food is absolutely delicious. All the arts exhibits are to the right of the entrance. Access to the temporary exhibition rooms is around the back of the Rees Gallery. To get to these, go past the entrance to the gallery and turn right and you'll see some double doors immediately on your right. As you go through the doors, Exhibition Room A is on your right and B is on your left. Our two theatres, 
the Gilbert and the studio, can both be found over there towards the back of the building. You can see the studio, which seats 150, over there next to the cinema. Immediately to the right and behind the cafe is the 800-seater Gilbert Theatre. We hope that these two venues will be used by professional touring theatre companies as well as for local amateur productions. You will see as you enter the centre, there is a gift shop directly on your right. This sells greetings cards, books and a variety of gifts, including paintings by local artists. Finally, I should just point out the cloakrooms. You will see the nearest are here on my left and there are further facilities near the entrance of the Moffat Hall. Well, there's nothing more for me to say than to wish you all an enjoyable evening. If you have any questions, please do ask.